Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Fun fact, I love you, you're the coolest. Animations can have feelings, right? Totally understandable. But what about humans? How does that all work? With Valentine's Day quickly approaching, we might as well learn a little bit about the science of love. Let's do this. Let's start off at a chemical level. Scientists believe that there are three main neurotransmitters involved with attraction, dopamine, adrenaline, and serotonin. Dopamine makes you feel good, and it has the same effect on the brain as doing cocaine. Wow. Couples often show high signs of dopamine levels resulting in higher energy, suppressed hunger, higher ability to focus, and less need for sleep. I guess that would explain why I'm hungry all the time. Somebody please date me. Anyway, on to adrenaline. When you first start to fall in love with a person, your stress response is activated, increasing the level of adrenaline and cortisol in your blood. This explains why you might have sweaty palms and a racing heart when you see your new lover. Next up, serotonin. Serotonin levels have actually been shown to drop in people who are in love. This drop in levels can compare to the level of serotonin that a person with obsessive compulsive disorder might have. This would explain any anxiousness or nervousness. All of this chemical talk has got me interested in a little something called pheromones. Pheromones are chemicals that humans and animals produce that can affect the behavior of other surrounding humans or animals. They're excreted through the skin and can be found in things like sweat and tears. Pheromone attraction can actually help one find their best genetically compatible mate. In one study, women were asked to rate the smell of shirts worn by different men. In most cases, the women rated the shirts highest who were worn by men whose DNA was different from their own. Speaking of attraction, how does it all work? Well, all of your senses play a big part in being attracted to someone. We all know that pheromones can attract you to another person, which uses our sense of smell. Our sense of sight is also a big one. See that cutie over there with the hella good hair and the clear skin? Our instinct is to be visually attracted to that person who shows characteristics of being fit for reproduction, or in some cases, just the first part of it. Our ears also contribute to this attraction party, hearing a person's voice along with the way they speak in some cases higher or lower levels of attraction. While sense of touch can be a very important part of anyone's relationship, it really can make or break the beginning stages. Many people become uninterested in a person after a bad first kiss, but are they making a bigger deal out of it than necessary? Well, not always. Getting this close to a person, your sense of smell, taste, touch are all working together, and when your brain reacts positively to a first kiss, your body is flooded with norepinephrine. Your body goes into fight or flight mode, your heart beats faster, and the norepinephrine creates a sort of tunnel vision to help you focus on the cutie in front of you or run away. This chemical can warp your sense of time and also improve your memory. Somebody give me a smooch, I have time to kill. Have you ever been in love? And, um, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um, will you be my valentine? I got you flowers. Leave your answer in the comment section below or tell us. What should we talk about next? Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video, and if you want even more Life Noggin, check out these other episodes and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, you are amazing! Don't forget to keep on thinking.